Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel for ACCA FR exam prep. My name is Adam. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to deal with intra-group transactions in accounting for the uh, consolidated financial statement or group accounts. So let's look at this example. I have on the first of January 2014, 1st of January 2014, plastic acquired 80%. So plastic period acquired 80% of the share capital of Subtrack. Subtrack is a subsidiary. Sales from plastic to Subtrack. So the parent selling to the subsidiary throughout the year ended so the year end is 30th september 2014. if you reconcile these to the acquisition date you have uh, nine months so this is nine months since acquisition now the sales throughout the year ended had consistently been 300,000 per month. Now, Plastic made a markup on costs of 25% on all these sales. 600,000, which is the cost to subtract. So that's the sales value. This is the sales value. Of subtract inventory at 30 September 2014 had been supplied by plastic in the post acquisition period. So it means that we have to look out for unrealized profit. Now, this is intra group, intra group sales. So intra group sales in the consolidated, so in the consolidated statement of profit or loss. We have revenue to be adjusted. So what we say is that we deduct intra-group sales from revenue. So what it means is that we will debit revenue with amount because we are dealing with nine months. So it's 300,000 times 9. Let's see how much is that. 300 times 9. That is 2.7. So 2,700. And we say that for the cost of sales, again, we deduct the intra-group sales from cost of sales and what it means is that we will credit cost of sales the same amount we'll credit cost of sale the same amount so we did that from revenue we did that from cost of sales now the impact of this is that in the consolidated financial position we have to adjust inventory because the inventory is to be valued at cost to the group so what we do is to calculate so calculate what we call provision for unrealized profit PURP and that provision should be based on the closing inventory which is 600 and because this is markup we have to change it to margin before we can apply on the sales value so the unrealized profit on this sale would be 600,000 times 25 over 125 because we are converting from markup to margin we have to add 25 to 100 and this would give us let's see 600 times 25 divided by 125 this will give us 120,000 
So the adjustment we do here is to say that we are going to deduct this from group revenue. So uh, deducting from group revenue means that we are crediting inventory. So we'll credit the inventory for the group, 120,000. So we are deducting it from the uh, inventory. But the debit would come to the PL, which is to say we are going to add or debit cost of sales with unrealized profit 120,000. So we have been able to eliminate from the consolidated account the unrealized profit on the intragroup sale and the intragroup sale itself. So remember, we take the value, the total value of the sales from revenue and cost of sales and we account for the unrealized profit. And this unrealized profit, we add it to cost of sales in PL and we deduct it from the group inventory in the financial position statement. I hope this helps in your preparation for the exam. Please subscribe to this channel to receive updates on new videos.